Hey everyone, welcome back to Manatee Local. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who did their civic duty and voted in our local primaries on August 20th. What we did here in Manatee was an absolute earthquake in terms of Florida politics and politics in general because these days everything's about the money and we were literally up against at least a million dollars probably more like two my guess they spent two million dollars trying to back all these candidates and you know we beat them with just good old-fashioned talking to our neighbors i think that next door and facebook have been really useful tools although not perfect tools but useful tools nonetheless in organizing people and there's so much more that we can do and have to do in order to remain vigilant this win is not something that we can take for granted it's not something that we can just be happy and think we won the war no this was only the opening salvo of the battles that we have to fight because you know that the people who have money are not going to just let this slide they're going to continue. They're going to find a way to get around and to continue to spread misinformation and disinformation. I bet they're already looking for a candidate if they don't have one already to go and run next cycle in 2026. Oh my God, 2026. It's, almost, it's going to be here sooner than you know it. And they're going to be well-funded and we have to be prepared. Of course, you know, there's always like Jason Bearden, you know, he's out there and he was a developer darling and they'll probably throw $2 million just behind him alone. We have to stay engaged and not fall asleep here and think that the process is going to take care of itself. It's not. We have to make sure that we know the records of all of our elected officials, that we can't be influenced by piles of misinformation. I saw on Facebook this one guy, he saved all of his political mailers. He had 36 feet of political mailers, which is outrageous, totally outrageous. But thank God, despite 36 feet or 40 feet by the time we were done of, of misinformation, we got a clean sweep, grassroots winners across the board in the county commission. The only one that snuck by was House District 72 to replace Tommy Gregory, you know, Bill Connerly, but even he sounds a little bit um, chastened by the outcome that occurred here. And I think, you know, the August surprise of all this flooding had awoken people to the need to pay more attention to what our county commission was doing because Donald Trump is not responsible for the flooding that happened here. Joe Biden is not responsible for the flooding that happened here. It's our county commissions that are responsible for the flooding that happened here and the state because they let these things go on. So pay attention, look at people's records, take them very seriously. Do not turn your brain off just because someone throws a name out like liberal or maggot or anything like that. Don't turn your brain off. You know, all of these uh, insults and, and smears and names and being called, they're all designed to make us not think critically about people and their records. Nobody on this screen here that I have in front of me is perfect, okay? Everybody's made some kind of mistake. The closest one to perfection is probably Dr. McCann, but, you know, other people would not like some of the things that Dr. McCann does, you know, and there's a little controversy around him too. So, or maybe it's uh, Scott Farrington. Scott Farrington is probably the closest thing to perfect that's on this screen. But nobody's perfect, right? Right. No one's perfect. So that being said, it's time for us to be a more engaged and involved electorate. We gave the community the best Republicans that we could for November. And now it's time to think very carefully about who we actually want in the seat based on local issues. Who is the most educated? Who's the most engaged? Who's gonna work their butt off to represent the people? Who's going to be transparent and open? I mean, I think they all will be. I think we don't have any bad choices 
in November. We really don't. So now that we are spoiled for good choices, we need to think very carefully about who we actually put in those seats and how we hold them accountable. I think it's definitely time for people to get involved on in local community groups that are that actually are paying attention to these issues to stay connected so that we can't be fooled by stupid mailers so that we have a record a long living record of what's happening okay so let's do that and let's do that going forward and let's be a better community one that can't be bought and can't be fooled by stupidity we are a better set of citizens. We are better Republicans. We are better Democrats. We are better independents. We are a better community on the whole. Thank you so much for everyone that voted. I'm psyched up for November. I'm looking forward to clean policy-based races and a good debate. Let's, let's have it. Thank you so much. Congratulations, George, Tal, Scott. Bob and Carol, God bless you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stepping up to run. And thank you to all of the hardworking volunteers that have waved signs, made signs, made stickers, posted and shared, gave money. Yeah, especially though they gave money to help them get the signs and stuff to get out there. That, that fight isn't over, so they still need money because that primary was expensive. Okay, the general is still out there. They need money to go on and fight. So choose your candidates, choose them wisely, give a little money, give a little time. It takes really nothing off of you to give an hour to wave a sign. It, it you know, doesn't take much to give 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 50 bucks for some of us, you know, or more if you can. Do that and take care of your candidates. That's what we have to do and stay engaged. Um, if you have any questions, you know, please leave a comment. I will, if you need to get into like the Bach Watchers, uh, the BOCC Watchers on Facebook, I'm an admin there, can help you with that. Um, let me know, contact me, and we have to stay informed. Thank you, Manti County. God bless and have a great rest of this season. <laughs>